You're not going to be back for a while. Go to bed. I won't be able to sleep. I'm not telling you to go to sleep. I'm telling you to go to bed. You don't think they'll have relations tonight, do you? Yeah, I'm telling you to go to sleep. So, John, you ever been married? Nope. Hmm. Ever been in love? Seven times. Seven times? How come you never settled down? Yeah, my feelings were not reciprocated. Well, that's so sad. Not for them. They all seemed pleased with the outcome. Especially number four. She said she dodged a bullet. That is a very brave thing to say on a first date. Why? If there's a second date, I'll tell you. I have a chance at a second date. This is going very well. Try the guacamole. No, 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 with a chip. Oh. <laughs> OK. Like this. There you go. Mm. <laughs> now, how do chimichangas work? I have no idea. Well, I think we should try it. How'd it go? Oh, what the hell? I wanted to know how your date went, and I got bored watching you sleep. How long have you been there? 67 minutes. Now tell me everything. Go away. Let me sleep. OK, but before I go, should I be worried he's not in your bed? Get out. I certainly hope you were nicer to him. Out. So are you going to see him again? I don't know. He showed up at my house on a bike. Well, like a Harley? Like a Schwinn. You mean a bike bike? With a jingle bell on the handlebar and everything. Well, that's kind of charming. He doesn't know how to drive a car. Doesn't want to know. OK, a little less charming. There's something about him. I mean, he's smart as hell and gentle and funny. Not always on purpose, but he's funny. I never met anybody like him. Sounds like Sheldon. Now, why would you go and put that thought in my mind? Well, I think you should give him another try. I agree with Mom. Sheldon! Oh, no. So now we can discuss what the perturbative QCD corrections to R bar look like. So you can also write it as R divided by the length of R. That would be a vector of unit length parallel to R. I'm sorry, where was I? R divided by the length of R, that would be a vector of unit length parallel to R. Oh, yes, thank you. So, if you divide R by the length of R, that would be a vector of unit length parallel to... I think you need to leave. <laughs>